What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don Dada here back with another video and today I am here with the long awaited Black Ops 4 player tier list, okay? We're gonna try to just do this efficiently. I might not get the order correct. Like going through it, I can make some adjustments at the end. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get this done in 30 minutes. I had a person make this list or put these players on a sheet for me about like a, two years ago or a year and a half ago or something. I never did the video. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this one and then I'm gonna do it for the recent games like MW19, Cold War, uh, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 2. So, yep, let's get into it. This is my favorite COD, so I'm a little bit more passionate about this one. One player that I can let you know right now that's not on the list is Scraps. He just didn't add his picture. I would probably have added Scraps into A or at, like one of the top rows. Scraps was good at this game. I just noticed that his picture's not there. So I'm gonna get that out the way now. Okay. So this might be more of a top 20 list than a full blown tier list. Cause I don't have every single player. Like these are just the main players. Okay. So this might be like a tier list slash top 20 list, whatever the case might be. So boom, we're going to get into it right now. Abizi, the guy's gross. <laughs> Abizi, the guy's gross. We'll throw him somewhere out there for now. The guy's gross. Top two SMG in COD history or no. Is that crazy? Skunk. Top three. Top three SMG in COD history, whatever. You could argue if, if he's better than Simple or Scump or whatever. But he's a top three sub in COD history. The guy's gross. Um, the pace he sets. The grapple plays. He was absolutely ridiculous in his game. And yeah, he was one of the main reasons why they were winning and why they were the best team at the end. Yeah, we'll throw a BZ and S plus for now. Yuli was my teammate the whole year. We went to every event together. Yuli was really, 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 really good. I think Yuli is one of the greatest or not greatest one of the most individually skilled cop players that i've seen on the ar like he was like how sib is how uh any like good ar is now it's just i think uh burned out from scrimming just burnt out man the guys he has a you know end of the day you got to compete and balance your real life but i think individually skill level yuli was very very good very very good he'd be somewhere probably low a or high B, low A, high B, one of the two. We'll put him in high B for now. But if I see some people that I think he might be better than an A, I'll move him up. But he he, he was a really good, one of the most underrated cop players uh, ever. He was very, very good when he played. Um, even his last game, Cold War, he was good. Uh, RCD's, RCD's was really good. He was really, really good at this game. I think this might've been RCD's best game. We're gonna throw him an S. I think he was just outshined. I said, out, I was about to say outshadowed. He was just, outshine by simp and abizi but he was definitely the third best player on his team and he was definitely gross i remember the first event they got second i think he had like a 1.5 they beat us in losers finals he had like a 1.5 that event um he had multiple other events when he was gross uh definitely his best cod right it had to have been right because yeah this is the best cod man this guy was gross at this game we'll throw him in s for now only reason why i don't put him in s plus i mean even with the accolades he would be s plus right Cause they won two events they got second he probably got some other good placings i can't remember he just got outshined by his two subs like that's that's literally it i mean he was gross Celium, i think mc was very very good at this game i just won i think by the like when the time he got in the league we just didn't play them that much but i don't know what it is i remember mc what was after i thought mc from mw19 and on was like a top was like the best AR in the game, like top three AR, top two AR in the game. I just feel like BO4, maybe he just needed like time to get his compo, whatever. I don't know. I just feel like he wasn't all the way there yet. But with that being said, I'll still put him in A because he was selling him. He was gross at the game. I just didn't play. I don't think I played against him that much at the end. But I feel like FaZe, they were like decent at the end. And then my team, I don't know. I just feel like I never ended up playing them that much. Or the one event we did play them, we played them twice. We had Nolson on our team. We had a substitute. That's like, and I was still like, I don't know. I just never felt, I feel like MC came into his own. Like he, he came full blown MC mode in, in 19, in the MW 19. So my MW 19 list, he will be S, S plus. Okay, he'll be S plus. I'll let you know that right now. He'll be S plus every game forward from Black Ops 4. Nikki D, Nikki D slant. He literally won his team an event. So I feel like you gotta be in B if you won your team an event like automatically like you gotta be in b like you know what i'm saying he's gonna be very low b because he got dropped after that 
but he won his team an event like that's tip like you got to take that i don't think he, he was the greatest at this game if you guys see my infinite warfare tier uh tier list look it up on my page i had nick and s so this game i don't think he enjoyed the game that much or whatever but he won his team an event so he's got to be in b i'll put yuli over him throughout the whole year but he won his team an event so that's yeah don't throw nick and b clay i honestly don't feel like clay was that great at this game but he did win some events so you got to tip that we'll throw him throw him above nicky d like right there i'll take yuli over clay honestly in this game yeah i would the maddox was just like a crack game gun. i don't know i just i'm just going off of what i remembered i just remember clay he, he was straight it was just he had three people on his team that were just gross that was just pure gross like they were gross since we got clay i'll group, group clay with pristini a little bit i'm putting everyone in b should i have everyone in b put pristini above nicky d too uh yeah i mean they were solid i think they were both ran maddox's and then alec was an icr and then the other two were sogs like they were probably i'm not gonna say they were the worst maddox duo because they won events right and placed well but just statistically and then playing against them you couldn't they're probably they probably just had to do their job and do what it take, took to win and make the right plays and they got they got the wins you know what i'm saying so they won four hundred thousand dollars they shouldn't give a damn about where i put them on a tier list about a game that's five four or five years ago i can't even remember right so they won 400 grand they're the world champs of this game but yeah porter okay so another, another thing that's tough too like i'm pretty who was vision po like some of these people like you will like see a goat they ran vision like i think didn't porter run vision pulse like you're running vision pulse like you're gonna be like a burger all on the team like you know what I'm saying? I'll put him over Nikki D, but like maybe Pristini too. Eh. I think Porter was like a vision pulse icy. Like, I don't know. You just, he was cool. He was cool at the game. I just feel like his teammates were just outshine him. Like, it's going to be easier to outshine people when you got a vision pulse or got a, got a grapple sog and a war machine grenade. Like, you got to think about it. Like, only one character in the game had a Simtex. Like, that's nuts, right? Like, that's literally nuts like only one player in the game had a simtex so like it's just certain players were like they were gonna be lower than you would expect just because of the role and the play style they played for their team in this particular game so i don't know why i'm explaining myself i just don't want people to like overthink this and get their feelings hurt so we're gonna move this on dashy i'm putting him in s plus he was gross this was his best cod i've teamed with some of the people that played against him and they try to say he's overrated he did it Bro, this guy was really good at this game, okay? I don't care if he kill Horde. You say he's a kill, I don't care. He was dropping 50s. They were still placing very, very well. It's not like they were getting last. They were getting top threes. They may have got last a couple times, but for the most part, they were getting top threes or they won a chip. They won a chip and they were placing well throughout the year. I'm pretty sure they got third at champs. That's not a bad year at all. He was by far the best player on his team. He was gross. Uh, Dylan Cod, Dylan Cod. okay. He was very, very good. I'll put him in S. I'll put him above MC in this game. But I do think he had a grow. Who did he slam? He was slamming LG. Like some of the craziest gameplay you've ever seen. Okay, if you go off that, yes, he is the greatest player you've ever seen in your entire life, right? When he was slam, I can't remember what series it was, but he was slamming. Like literally flying at the whole team and killing the whole team and somehow not dying. I don't know how he was doing it. But I just remember like arguing with people like they had them like top five in the list like whatever like you gotta add placings into this or results into this to some extent um obviously yeah to some extent obviously i'm gonna value individual performance over that and just how it was playing against you over that but um yeah i feel like it's not i feel like if you were to go through everything he didn't have like absurd events he just had absurd series and he had a absurd, absurd league matches which is still really really good he's still really 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 good i just think some people having them like some people I, I literally was arguing this at the time like some people have them in the list like top five he no i can't i can't do it can't do it i have better results than him in this game you know what i'm saying so it's just like it's just a little it was just like i don't know i'm not gonna say he's overrated because he's gross but yeah dylan cod he's an s he's running around with grapple he was the, he was either the greatest player in the world or he was just a solid player um pretty good player i think his it probably didn't help i can't remember who was on his team exactly but i don't think he was playing with like the greatest players so maybe like if you go off degree degree is it that's that degree of difficulty is that the saying 
maybe you can overgas him a little higher but i'll still put him in s he was really good enable enable okay i want to put enable right here okay i don't think ian was that bad he actually was he's in b he's not bad he was running this is one of the people where it's like okay maybe for his role you could be like man he's running vision pulse sog he's getting screwed over you got a might need to throw him in a but like he's running vision pulse sog sog and that's like to me that's like your team doesn't even respect you enough to like give you a chance to like do anything like you're running vision pulse sog like there's not one sog in the world running vision pulse you know what i'm saying like he was getting the whore like he was getting pure absolute like horse shitted like and he was still straight he was still straight like i play ace with him he'll run like war machine he's frying like stuff like that but that's just that's just how it worked he was a vision pulse sog and he had the least impact on his team <laughs> so that's just and he still they were like the second best team were they the best team they were a really good team i can't remember who was the best team over i will give e united the best team overall but then probably 100 t right after they won two events like he was really 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 good uh their team was really good it's just i think he was the least impactful on his team envoy was very good at this game i respected envoy a lot in this game i'd put him over dylan i think envoy was this is when envoy came back and he he just was lighting it up bro i thought he dude, he was using like some weird no quick draw class at the lcq he was frying he was the best player on gen g he went he just his career took off and he became a world champion and that's all because not all because of this game but this game put him on the right track and he was gross and i think he was a top three sub at the end it was probably him simba bz priesta and envoy yeah yeah that was probably the, the best subs at the end me personally i would put priesta over him in this game but envoy was gross envoy still s i'll put envoy right here for now formal formal was good at this game he was very good at fort worth where they won he was pretty good uh he was solid after solid moments after i just think if i'm comparing formal to formal he was just good he was he was really good at this game he was still really good at this game i think he was better at this game than world war ii but this was this was like yeah he was still good i just don't know it's weird to describe him because i know the iw formal where the guy's literally the best player in the world so th to this game he was good he was good enough to be a main ar on a championship team i just feel like one his team was he the best on his team pierce was the best on their team and then they dropped him and then probably skies or him were the best on his team yeah yeah i mean he was solid i don't really know how to describe matt in this game other than he was he was just solid um he was really he, he was really good but as compared to his standards he was he was still good he was still good. pierce what happened to pierce? did pierce get dropped pierce got dropped from lg and then i don't remember what happened oh okay yes i okay he went to envy okay overall he was the mvp in the first two events he was he, like the first half of the game pierce was gross it was just the second half he was teaming with like pat and silly and decimating all of them like i'd probably put him over matt but behind eh. It's so hard to rank Pierce because honestly, I think he was gross at this game. Like w the first half, I, I mean, I put Pierce at the top of A. I think he was gross, bro. Like he was S tier. If I go off the first event, second event, he was literally S plus. He was gross. And then he just went to Envy, and then like he kind of he kind of just disappeared. Like yeah, I put Pierce at the top of A. He was he was just because they got like four, they got like top four first event. He was gross, and then they and then he won MVP the next event. So I had to give it to him, Kyler. Hmm. The problem with Kyler in this game, I, I, I remember arguing they had Kyler ranked higher than me like on, on the breaking point list. He never had any result. Like, I don't think he ever got top three. Like, he didn't make a loser. He didn't make any. I think his best placing this year was like fourth. He just didn't do much this year when it comes to placings, like at all. So, like, how can I put, like, I feel like individually his team, he, he basically went to the, he was in the same situation Gunless was in the last six months, but he was in it the first six months. And then he joined my team and then we just weren't good like we had like our team composition was just awful like i don't know individually numbers wise he was s but like if i factor in the placings i can't put him over someone that won an mvp with like no finals or nothing like he didn't like nah but kyler was still really really good that's why we picked him up and, and kind of messed up our team composition because like why would we not pick up hoop like this guy's dropping 1.2s with a sub flying at people you know what i'm saying so We'll throw hoop there um juanito did not like this game but i feel like he wasn't that bad 
I put Juanito right behind Enable. He was solid at this game. I feel like he just didn't like it, but he wasn't bad, but he still grinded. Like I would see John in eights and tens. It was tens back then every night. I just feel like he didn't like the game, but like he was still okay. He was all right. Uh, Jerd, Jerd is kind of like Pierce. When like the first half of the year, Jerd is an S, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Jerd was flying in for me every life, and he was either getting the guy one shot or he was getting one. He was frying. It's just after that, and then especially when Kyler joined our team, he wasn't playing well. We just had too many sub players. We we had Looney, Kyler, Jerd. I was trying to run a sub because I was War Machine. Like it was bad. It was a lot. It was a lot going on. Um. I think final rating, I would have to give Jerd. Me personally, people are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm putting him over. I'm Jerd was good, bro. Jerd was gross. I loved Jerd is probably my favorite teammate I've ever had by far when it comes to playstyle wise. You know why? Because the guy baited for me. He never complained. He never he trusted me. You know why he trusted me? Because he knew if he flies in for me, I'm not about to just let his ass die. Like, I'm not about to just let you die on purpose. Like sure, sure. If you bait for me and then you die and I get gunned on the trade, like that could happen for sure. That could happen or, but it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's just not like he's tr he's tr it's Jerd. I used to call him me Lord, me Lord. Oh my God, me Lord. Thank you for baiting for me. Like, yo, he trusted. Cause nine times out of 10, if you child Jerd, I'm on your hip. Like, like this, I'm like this. Where we, Jerd, come on, let's go. I'm like this. So nine times, most of the time, we're double teaming the motherfucker. I'm not about to just hard bait your ass and now you just taking a gunfight by yourself. You're like, Don, where, where are you at? No, we never, never, never had that. We never had that. We never had that. Our communicate, he's got like, Jared, if he, if he played like more consistent throughout the second half of the year, he's S. He was so easy to play with. He never like complained. He never caused issues. He was just, he was just chilling. It was just Jerd, bro. He was goatee. Damon, Damon had really good moments in this game. And I feel like there was probably parts of the year where he probably just didn't like the game. I know he always complains about his team. I think he was okay at this game. I'll probably put him like, I'll put a Nabel over him, but I'll probably put him over John Juanito, like somewhere like this. Yeah, he was cool. Damon's one of my favorite cop players of all time. So if you watch any of my earlier tier lists, I have Damon rated very, very high. I have, I think very very highly a damon kenny kenny was really 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 good at this game i might put him in s i just gotta see people above him i just feel like he had three i think he was the fourth best on his team but he was still really good that's my honest opinion that's my twin that's my boy i'm going octane slasher and priesta over him in this game but he was still gross he might think what do you mean don i ran a maddox bo4 i was better at bo4 i swear i heard him say i was better at bo4 than world war ii you know what i'm saying this is my tier list no you aren't you know what I'm saying? That's the way I would rank it. I, I, but I might put him in S. Just I just gotta peep. So I can't have the whole universe in, in S. We got we gotta peep for a second. I probably I probably am gonna put him in S. Honestly, we're gonna see. But he was gross at this game. I just feel like his teammates outshined him slightly. But he also could have won MVP for Anaheim. He was gross. Looney Looney was good first event, but then after that, he didn't really play that well on my team. Honestly, he was I. Right. I probably put him like I probably put him like right there. Yep, I put him right there. I moved Jared down one too. Yep. MC over Jared. Um, Octane S plus. He was just really, really good. I don't know. Is Octane S plus or S? We put him at the top of S for right now. He was gross. He was gross. Shout out to Sam Larue. Hope you enjoy your retirement. The guy was gross. Actually, we'll put him in S plus. He was better than Slasher. Him and Priesta. We'll put S. Where's Priesta? Priesta's right here. Is this my S plus? Are we missing people? Where's Simp? Okay, Simp. Okay. I know I just did a lot. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is this a good top five? This is a this is a good top five. Simp, Abizi, but Sam. Okay, this is this is good. This is good so far. I had to hold on. Let me let me. Simp. Okay, hold on. Let me talk about these people. Priesta, absolutely gross. I think he was one of the best subs in the game. I think he was the best sub in the game outside the tiny terrors. He was very easy to play with. Like he's just. I I think Priesta might have been Jerd, but like just even like or Dylan Cod, but just better and didn't like cause his team to lose i think people have said like i think he had like one bad series at champs or something but like i'm going off a whole year of gameplay he literally evolved 100t as a team and they were gross okay so he's he gets my vote these are my four top subs simp bz priesta then envoy right and then we'll probably put yeah there's missing a couple people but it's okay 
Um, probably fifth best sub will be like Hook and then Terry. Terry somewhere in here too. Put Terry like somewhere in high A. Simp. This is Simp. I mean, we already talked about Ibiza earlier. Simp. Obviously, like, it's Simp, bro. Like, this game in Cold War. I th I'll give him number one overall player in Black Ops 4. But I personally think, and, that, and that's crazy, right? I think he was the best player in Black Ops 4. But I personally think he was better at Cold War. Like, I feel like they might have, him and Abizi might have been better in Cold War. Like, those guys were slamming in Cold War, bro. Like, it was ridiculous. The Cold War tier list is definitely all the way. Those guys were slamming in that game. But that's kind of nuts that I will rank them one and two in this game. And I still think they were better at Cold War. Which is just, uh, that just shows how good these two kids are. Um, Yeah. I don't really know what else to say. The guy was the best. Like, I don't know. I don't want to just DS Cheezo for that long. Shout out to Chris. Like, every time I hang out with Chris or, like, I'm around him in person for short periods of time, he's just a cool, like, chill guy. Like, this guy's gross, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I, I love this guy, bro. This guy's gross. I don't know. I like his gameplay. Like, he's just gross. He was disgusting. Teach. Oh, we'll talk about Teach. My bad. Terry. That's my boy. That's my duo. One of my duos. Shout out Terry. I think Terry was really good. I think in Terry's head, he thinks... He was gross at this game for some reason, which he was cool. <laughs> I can lie, Terry. You was good. You was good. But Terry thinks he was gross. Like, dude, I was like so good. I was like the second best. Bro, you you was cool, my boy. You was straight. You was straight, twin. You was straight. I'm going to push you in A. This is top something, top 20. You somewhere in there, twin. You good. You know what I'm saying? Slasher, you an S for show. I'm going to honestly put him over Dylan. God. I put Slasher over Dylan Cod. Yes, Slasher was really good at this game. I just think he had a slow start. Was that probably it? I think the way he closed out the year, he was very, very good. Um, this is one of Slasher's best games. This is probably his what? Mm, maybe third best game? No, 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 no. Probably fourth best game. Damn, he's had some good games. BO3, World War II, IW, and this game. So yeah, it's probably his third. Yeah, he's really good at this game, man. He was very, 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 very good at this game. Um. S plus play, S, S player, S player, for sure, for sure. Scumpy, somewhere in here. I honestly think he was the second best on Optic throughout this year. Maybe he was hard to play with. Maybe, I don't know. He was just holding irons. I have no clue. I'd put these players over him, though. He was very good still. He was still very good. I think he ran Crash Sog. Um, it might be a little hard to stand out with a Crash, with a Crash Sogerson. So, yeah, he was, he was good. Um, that's the king, King Scumpy. Shout out to King Scumpy. He always plays Firefly on his on his on his watch parties. And I love him for that. Caesar Skies was also good. I'd have to put him over. Yes, because just because of Jared's second half of the year. Caesar Skies was very solid at this game. He was very good with the Tempest. He was very fun to play with in eight. So every time I play with him, I think it was good. I think he was probably the best on his team at the end. I don't think he was a pro the whole year, but at the end, I think he was probably the best on his team. Slacked. Slacked had a lot of questionable moments, but he was not bad at this game at all. I'd probably put him right here. Right there. I'd put him right there. Yeah, he slack slam. He beat me in the finals. He was good. He had a good year. He, had a, he won a chip this year. He was solid. I just feel like Nikki D won them that event. Let's be realistic, man. This guy won them that event, man. Let's be realistic. Zuma, I don't think, I think Zuma, my MW19 list, Zuma will be at least an A. Zuma was our second best player on our team in MW19. So you'll hear me give Tommy his gas in that game. I just feel like the FaZe team wasn't good until the end. And then the best players on his team was Selium and Maddie. Um, I think he also had a crash SOG. And I think he liked the Maddie a little bit better. And he didn't get to run one. So things could have been different for him. But that being said, I am going to throw him somewhere behind him. Like right, yeah here throughout the whole year he was solid at this game he wasn't bad at all but he wasn't the zuma that we love and know that takes over games and is the mvp of multiple events me this is actually perfect i get i'm gonna just throw myself here now as much as i want to give put move myself over slasher slasher won two events in this game so we'll give it to him okay he won two events in this game he also won an mvp at one of his wins we'll give it to him now whenever i played him did i slam him yes we're going to give him the nod because of the events. Dylan Cod, me and him, similar numbers. I feel like I have better better placings in this game. Um, yeah, I was the number one. I led. I basically led the league in scoring in this game. I just shot my gun a lot. I did. I had a lot of takeover series, a lot of takeover games. I was the best player on my team. Um, the first two events, 
I was MVP candidate, um, even London MVP candidate, even though my team was bad. I, I continued to play very, very well, no matter who was on my team this whole year. It's unfortunate I didn't win be because I think with a chip win, I could be up in here, but I think with no chip win, that's kind of nuts. Like all these guys got two chips, two chips, one, two chips. I think this is no chips, but this is multiple seconds and he was gross. Seconds, thirds, I was gross. I think maybe a third, he was gross individually. So it's like, yeah. Realistically on my list, I would put Kenny right here as well. I would put Kenny right there and then probably move him right here. I'll probably switch these, yep. That's how I would do it, yep. Mm, let me see, any other changes I would make? I'd probably put MC right. This looks good. This is my list. Yep. This is my list. I had to make a couple changes. Okay. So one, Simp, BZ, Octane, Dashy. That's my team of the year. Then we got Priesta, Envoy, the next two best subs, with the next two best ARs. You know what I'm saying? It's Slasher and RCDs. That's tip. Then we got me and Quavo Kenneth, two Maddies. Little Maddies. I ran a Maddie song. I was running. I was doing it all. Yeah. Then we got probably the, the next best sub. A really next best sub. Next best sub. Yeah. Nah, this makes sense. And the next best 2 AR. This makes sense. This actually makes good sense right here. Yeah. I think this top 10 is very good. I think this top 10 is very, very good. Oh, we are missing scraps, by the way. I'll say that one more time at the end of the video to close this out. We are missing scraps. Scraps would probably be right here somewhere in A. Um, yeah, I think this is a good list. This is not every player, by the way. So this is more of a what? 5, 10, 15, 19, 20, 20, top 30. This is a top 30 player list. Um, we're missing some players for sure. Like Colt Havoc was solid. Uh, a couple other people. Scraps. Um, scraps would be an A somewhere. But yeah, more tier lists on the way. That's going to be it for this video. More tier lists on the way. What's after this game? MW19. That's going to give... I'm going to have to think about that game because I kind of deleted that game from my memory. I'm going to need someone. Someone tag me. If you see this video with a list, make the players for me if you can. If not, I'll get it figured out anyways. Um, 1K likes. Post this on Reddit. Argue about it. Have people react to the video. See if they think I'm faded or not. I think this list is pretty good. I think especially the higher part of the list is very good. It's very good. I think it's a, it's a, it's a very good list. I think this is a very this is a very typical list right here. Okay? Appreciate you guys for watching. I love all y'all, man. Be